she ignored you for months for months guaranteed she wasn't thinking about you at all she was thinking about somebody else and that other person just gave her a wake-up call and so she's scrambling to pick up the pieces of her pride and she figured that she could get what she wants from you don't give it to her don't give it to her here's the thing as well two things will happen if you ignore her number one she's gonna want you more because she's gonna realize oh this guy must have better things to do if you pick up and you respond to her right away she's gonna she, your values drops immediately because it means oh i have nothing better to do and i have no other options and so i'm gonna bend to her will and, and whim that also makes her resent you in a way she'll feel good but because she got what she wanted she's gonna dis she'll emotionally discard you right away because now you're easy and she don't want something easy if you start trying to have a conversation with her and start trying to talk to her and be nice to her she's gonna be like ew he's trying to be nice <laughs> she's gonna be grossed out it's like post clut post nut clarity for a guy they call it post nut clarity for a girl it's gonna be post text clarity once she gets that text back from you she's gonna be like eh, eh, never mind but if you, she, if you don't text her, she's going to be wondering, oh, he, has, he didn't text me back. I wonder if maybe he's taken already. Maybe, and that's the most attractive thing to a woman is to know that another woman has your attention. Isn't that crazy? Women want men that other women have. And so they're constantly comparing. They're up in one another and, they, and they're not satisfied to see another woman with something that they could potentially have. She'll start to uh, ruminate and think about how you might be with another girl and you don't need her attention. And that really makes her fume for you. He doesn't need my attention? I wouldn't be surprised if she tried to hit you up like with a picture or like she goes a little bit further. She, you might notice her on your Instagram liking a picture or something. She might try to interact with you in like different places. Just kind of like show up, show herself like, hey, look at me, I'm over here. So is this a good sign or it's a distraction from the enemy? It's 100% a distraction, brother. If you start thinking about her, talking to her, the enemy's watching you as well. I'm talking about Satan himself. And he's like, oh, you're thinking about girls now. Huh. You start thinking about, as you put the seed in your thought, in your head that like, well, maybe you're going to get some sex. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh man, you're going to get some. But then the frustration arises when you realize, or you start thinking about it, and you're like, yeah, I'm probably not going to get laid. And then you all built yourself up. The next thing you know, you're watching porn again. It's a slippery slope. A woman will lead you right back to watching porn. I've listened to stories from guys all the time. They're like, yeah, man, I was doing great. I was, you know, I hadn't touched porn in the longest time. I was, you know, I was free from it. Then my ex called me up. I was hanging out with her for a couple of days and maybe they had sex, maybe they didn't, but now he's like sexually frustrated. And he's like, damn. And then that's it. I, I've been watching porn for eight months since. <laughs> that's exactly what the enemy wants. He wants to trip you up and she might be the very stumbling block that he needs to use to trip, trip, trip you up. So forget her, ignore her completely and stay on your grind. Keep, keep building yourself up and keep being a stronger you. And this is not old Uncle E being a prude and telling you don't, don't be interested in girls. Just don't be interested in that girl. There might be other girls that, have, that are worth your time, but not that girl. She already dismissed you, and now she's crawling back for attention. And that's it, dude. Done. Porn. 68% of church-going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur, caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.